Good morning, or depending on when you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name's Ross, and as always told, out of voice of radio. So today, we need to take a little bit of a look at some cards which have gone and been found on PTCGO. Now, for those of you that don't know, PTCGO is the official online client of the Pokemon trading card game. And especially, cards get added onto there so that we can play with them in the real world. Yay! But you see... Well, no, I want to say in the real world. I mean, we can play with them on PTCGO... But we can actually play with them. If they're added there, we're going to be getting those cards. There is absolutely no reason to pop those cards on unless we're going to be able to play with them on PTCGO. And the lovely immunity, Matthew Arrive, has gone and shown us a couple of images which should give us quite a lot of pause for thought for the moment. Because you see... We've gone and found a full art Jurachi and the alternate art of the, what we often call the baby trio. That is Cleffa and Togepi and Igglybuff. Very cool cards. The thing is, as it stands at the moment, those cards don't exist in English. Now, don't get me wrong, they exist. We've seen them in Japan. They've been in Japan for a while. They got released in Japan quite a while ago, to be fair. These are Sun and Moon cards. But we don't have them. And we've never had them. And that's kind of weird to me. Turns out we're getting them now. But this just opens up a whole bunch more questions. Okay, we're getting them. But how are we getting them? And when are we getting them? And, of course, just as interesting as those questions, are there any more that we're getting? Because make no mistake about it, these are not the only ones that we're missing. We're actually missing a bunch. And so what's going to happen? Now, towards the end of, or actually after the X and Y series ended in the trading card games, we got... The X and Y collection. It was this gigantic box that I still find very... The premium X and Y collection. That I still find very funny. Because it was like an 80 quid or 80 dollar box. That had two booster packs in. But it also had lots of full art cards. You can see on the image I popped on the screen. There's a full art and full art team flare grunt. There is the special gold rare version of Evil Tal and Shaman. Essentially, Pokemon took all of these fancy rare cards that we hadn't had yet, whacked them in a box with exactly two booster packs and went, boom, go nuts. But I'm not sure that's what's happening here. Because if that's what was happening here, surely more of these cards would be going up on PTCGO. More of these images would be around and available. But they're not. It's just the two of them. Now, of course, there was one product we got a little while ago, which actually did. Most of these cards came around in, in Tag All-Stars. It was a set Japan had a little while back, one of the last Sun and Moon. In fact, it might have been the last Sun and Moon set. And essentially, we had the Tag Team Powers collection, which brought us the alternate art versions of Espeon and Deoxys GX. And the alternate art version of Umbreon and Darkrai GX. Them, their tag teams. As well as giving us the full art EV GX as well. And Tertuga uh, GX, no, sorry, the evolution thereof. Caracosta GX, which was another one that we had hitherto not actually seen. So maybe there's another product like that coming down the pipeline. The fact of the matter is, that these cards are a bunch of alternate arts and full arts and all of that and we didn't get very many of them at all in fact apart from the ones i've just shown you pretty much the only other notable one we actually got was the dadene gx which of course came around in the trainer's toolkit which is still readily available for rrp which is awesome and if you haven't picked one of those up it is still phenomenal value because you get yourself dadene as well as a whole bunch of other cool stuff. So it really is kind of awesome. And you actually get two Dedene in there. Basically, Dedene is awesome, and you should go ahead and pick this up if you haven't done so already. So that's kind of awesome. But we're missing so many of these cards. 
And as it stands at the moment, the only ones confirmed are Jirachi and the Baby Trio, as I like to call them. Because they are, of course, the ones that have come and, and, and popped up. Now, Jirachi itself, very nice card. It removes weakness of all of your psychic weak Pokemon. Of course, it's kind of funny nowadays because Jirachi now just protects fighting Pokemon. You see, your newer psychic Pokemon, they tend to come through with a darkness weakness nowadays, which is um a little bit sad. Whereas it's your new fighting Pokemon like, I don't know, we got a clear image and a promo match amp. Let's talk about that one comes through with a psychic weakness, so basically Jirachi is helping those kind of Pokemon. Mewtwo and Mew, incidentally, is a relevant psychic-type Pokemon, which is still seeing a bunch of play. It's not a huge amount of play, it's not the best deck in the game right now, but it's seeing enough play that removing your weakness is alright. I mean, honestly, Mewtwo and Mew played Jirachi back when Mewtwo and Mew was played a lot more, because it was really, really good for the mirror or for anything trying to counter you. Honestly, we, we've moved on a little bit at this stage, and on we just don't see them very much anymore. Jirachi doesn't see a huge amount of play, but it's there. The babies, I mean, I love the babies. Absolutely love the babies. They're not very good. Uh, people have been trying to make it work. I mean, the, the real hook of the babies is Supreme Puff GX, whereby you take another turn after this one, but if there are 14 extra energy, i.e. 16 in total, your opponent shovels all of their bench Pokemon and all cards attached to them into their deck, the theory then being that you KO their only remaining Pokemon, and you win the game. It's phenomenal, but it's also phenomenally expensive, so people have ended up not actually using it, and it's not proven to be a particularly good attack. It's fun, but it's not proven to be a particularly good attack, unfortunately. Never mind. But what about the others? And there are a bunch that we're still missing. I'm not going to go through the entire list, but there are a bunch of really relevant ones we're missing. So in terms of supporters, we're missing Will. Okay, maybe not the most played one, but still, we don't have it. We're missing Erica, which is a decent draw card. Let's draw one card for each of your opponent's Pokemon in play. That's pretty gosh darn good. We don't have that. Palauber and Bryson Man went and got banned before we ever got the alternate art version of it, which is a little bit sad. So we don't have that. And of course, probably the most relevant one is Welder. Why does that one that lets you attach a couple of fire energy and then draw three cards? It's a widely played card. It's a phenomenal card. We never got the full art. But we're missing a bunch of rainbow rares as well. We don't have the rainbow rare Jirachi. Or the Rainbow Rare Baby Trio. We don't have the Rainbow Rare Eevee, even though we got the full art version in that collection I showed you a little while ago. We don't have the Rainbow Rare Weavile, and okay, Weavile's not a phenomenal card anymore, it, if it ever was. It's seen a bunch of play just because it lets you move your energy around. That's kind of cool. Your darkness energy. It's a cool little card, but we, we don't have it. Doesn't exist. At least in, in terms of the English cards. And are we ever going to get it? Like at this stage, have we gone into the point where it's never actually going to come out? We've missed the boat, so to speak. Or might it come out again in the future? I honestly don't know. And then, of course, we've got the gold cards. Because a whole bunch of gold cards got released. And these are fancy cars ladies and gentlemen these are really cool awesome fancy cars and we just we, we never got them and some of these are phenomenal cars you know i've talked about mewtwo and mew being a pretty good card earlier japan has a gold version of mewtwo and mew the yoko mewtwo and mew of course you can use the attacks of any gx pokemon or ex but they don't exist in standard at the moment although well, still in expanded they do any of your EX or GXs in play or in the discard. Well, that, that's a really good card. They're seeing a bunch of play and success here and there. We don't have that. Pikachu and Zekrom. Arguably still one of the very best cards in the game. It has been since it got revealed. It went and won the big tournament we had before the Players' Cup. Unofficial, of course. You know, free energy, 150, accelerate free energy from your deck, and then six energy, 200 to the active, 170 to the bench. Lucario and Melmetal went and won the Players' Cup. There is a gold version of that card. 
lets you reduce damage done to all your metal Pokemon for the rest of the game. It's awesome. We still don't have these. And honestly, this topic, this news today, has left me with more questions than answers. Cool, we're getting two of these cards we've been missing for a while. And bear in mind, these are Sun and Moon cards, and we are approaching the fourth Sword and Shield set. Vivid Voltage is the next set out. That'll be Sword and Shield 4. And these are Sun and Moon cards. But how are we getting these cards? Will we get these other cards in the future? And the answer is, I have absolutely no idea. I'm sorry, I really <laughs> wish I did. But this is one of those things where, for now, this is a cool piece of news. And it tells us we're definitely getting these cards. But it does raise a bunch of questions. And we will get answers. Sooner or later, we will get answers. And we will know what's going on. For now, I suppose lots of speculation, eh? But I would like to hear your speculation. I'd like to know what you think's going on. So let me know in the comment section. Go nuts. Be nice. And then make sure you like this video. Subscribe to this channel. Follow me on Twitter at the Wassy, And Twitch for some live action at twitch.tv. Slash PTCG Radio. If you want to support the channel, get some bonus podcasts and all that good stuff, head on over to patreon.com slash PTCG Radio, where you can do exactly that. But by far the most important thing as always... Look after yourselves till next time, would ya? Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross, and you've been watching PTCG Radio.